In terms of economic development, you know, this is one of the things we want to do as a Department of Economic Development, really around new sectors that we want to see built into Joburg as a future of the city economy, and also the development of suppliers that will be behind those sectors. And there are a number of things which we're doing. I'm not going to go into all of them, but just so you know, and as part of the message which we're taking out, we are really looking at ensuring we have a much sharper uh, environment to attract investment into the city. So this is for the first time Masmat is partnering with a government or government agency uh, or, or a non-private sector because we do these events by ourselves. But I think it's important for us to do this because we want to, to be clear that we partner government in things that we find synergies on. I mean, there's no point for us to to spend money doing these exhibitions if uh, uh, part of our government or government agencies are doing are doing the similar things. Where we can collaborate, we'll be, we'll be able to, to collaborate. And it's part of a delivery uh, decision that we have taken within supply development team that uh, this is what we, we really want to do for, 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 for with the government in, in making sure that we create those opportunities uh, for, 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 for suppliers. Part of also why we wanted to have this discussion here is um, it's this issue which you've all heard about and there's a debate about, so I just want to decode it for you, about economic transformation. Because in a sense, what we're doing here is part of economic transformation. And what does economic transformation mean? Okay, there's a lot of debates about it. But if I break it down, there's uh, four or five things that are really core to what we're doing. And when we engage with our big companies in Johannesburg and the city entities which are doing spending, we are looking to see if there are signs of this economic transformation. So in all of your proposals and engagements, those are the things we are looking for. So, so essentially, what are these things? Firstly, we are looking to see how much of production can be localized. It's not just the selling, it's the, it's the producing. So if we make a train in South Africa, we want to see over a number of years how much of this train is going to be built in the country. So when uh, Transnet started with their trains a few years ago, uh, only 20% of the train was really local. They're going to get to a point where about 85% of that train of the value is produced locally, which means businesses, jobs, all those opportunities here. So anything which is being bought <clears throat> by anyone doing business with the state, we're looking to see how over a period of time more of that can be localized. And that means, obviously, opportunities for firms. So all of the things we're looking at localization. Then for a city, unlike a national government department, we are interested in where are these production activities taking place. It is a, a challenge that we have that we know that uh, uh, some parts of the city uh, have a lot of people living there, but not much economic activity. So we're looking at over time what we can do to support businesses even uh, in, in parts of the city now where there are not a lot of activities. You know, an example would be Soweto. You know? Soweto has got 40% of the population but only 6% of the economic activities. So you have to travel a lot to go and fight to, to where you work but <clears throat> we want to see what can we do in different areas. So that's the issue. The second transformation is really around where are the, the, the economic activities happening. Third one, which is very important and involves you and, and this activity uh, quite uh, centrally, is how we can ensure in South Africa we have more competition between firms. It's not good to have a few companies running every sector. But because Africa was closed off because of sanctions, we, we, we really have four or five companies dominating every sector. Now, the, so there's an obligation also on the big companies now in that sector to look at how they bring in small firms. So that's why we have a competition commission, competition tribunal. Massmuts had an engagement with them. It was a very useful one. And it's really about how we can build small firms into the bigger firms' supply chains. So that's an important area. The fourth thing is, in general, we want to support small businesses. And uh, because from small businesses will come new sectors. And uh, cities and countries that don't build small businesses find that their old industries kind of run out of steam or uh, want to move to another country, and then you are stuck. Uh, you know, there's a city in America called Detroit that went bankrupt because they were depending on the car industry. But then it became too expensive to make cars in Detroit. The car industry went somewhere else, and they had no other industry in Detroit. Literally, the city couldn't pay for upkeep of roads, electricity, all of those things collapsed. It's now bankrupt, literally declared bankruptcy. 
So very important that you have a vibrant uh, sector of small businesses, and we're looking to do some of those things. And the fifth thing we're looking for in terms of transformation is how the private sector really works very closely together with government and the, and the city, obviously. Um, so we depend a lot on the mass marts and the big companies also and, you, and yourselves to really work with us to ensure that um, we, we are really finding the best ideas. We have almost about 200, almost 200 uh, suppliers that we have managed to plug into our supply chain. And this is important. Most of them are, are, are coming from, 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 from farming communities. So we have helped to, to, to get the smallholder farmers to participate into the supply, uh, supplier development. And as a result, we have their fruits or vegetables uh, in our stores, uh, which if you have been to our macro stores or Cambridge stores or even game stores to, to buy some fruit or vegetables, uh, you, should be, you could have bought some of uh, the products from uh, smallholder farmers. And, and for us to be successful, we, 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 we have interventions like uh, uh, good consultants that we're working with in, in agriculture, uh, and then they, they will have a technical, people with technical expertise, such as agronomists, to make sure that the quality of the product, is, it, it gives us a peace of mind that it could sit on our shelf and people could consume it without dying afterwards. So, so those type of interventions that we are able to do and it becomes consistent. Because I think ultimately our job is to buy things from suppliers and sell to customers. And then it's our responsibility to make sure that you consume safer products and you consume quality products and then you, you, your, your expectations are met by whichever products that we're buying from our stores. So, so, so we end up doing quite a lot of those from a supply development point of view. And I think we've also managed to, to export some of, these, some of these products to other uh, Walmart markets overseas. Uh, for example, there are wines that have found their way into the Walmart US stores into Walmart China and Walmart Brazil, which are South African products. So our intervention, we see it as very powerful. We don't like talking much about it because we're not doing it for publicity stunt. We're doing it because we want these enterprises to be successful. But we have managed to convert local enterprises into becoming a global enterprises through these type of initiatives that we have managed to do, uh, to, to, to be working around it.